everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Bree. Coming at you from Desterhan, Louisiana. And tonight I am making Carolyn Ketchum's chocolate chip mug cakes. So let's get started. This is going to be easy. Swerve Sweets vanilla cake mix. As y'all probably guess, I am extra. So I'm going to do something different to this recipe than what it calls for because I like to break the rules a little bit. I'm going to open this carefully because we're not going to be using all of the cake batter. I guess it'd be helpful if I told you what else you needed. You're going to need one egg. You're going to need some chocolate chips. I've got some milk, vanilla extract, melted butter, and half of an overripened banana. I also have sprinkles because y'all know I love sprinkles. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with one cup of Swerve Sweets mix. Packs just as good as Brown Swerve does, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my mixing bowl. So instead to use a large bowl, we're going to whisk together the mix that we have here. Let me grab a whisk. I'm going to whisk it first before I add anything else because some of the, it's a little clumpy, so I just want to break it all up so it's nice and smooth in texture, you know. I have on an Ariana Grande playlist for while I bake. What do you guys like to listen to when you bake? If you guys weren't here, I'd probably be listening to Lil Wayne, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so I broke that all up. Next, it wants me to add the egg. Let's get cracking. Oh, I love a nice clean break where you get no shells in the batter, because that is such a pain. All right, so I did that. Now next I'm going to add the melted butter. Oh my gosh, and how cute are these little ramekins? Molly Kimball, she is the Eat Fit Dietitian. She made these and she gave them to me as a gift. And I, I'm using them here for my ingredients. They're perfect for small amounts of ingredients. And look, you can see she's got her name in the bottom. Drop something on the floor so let me wash my hands real quick. Now I'm gonna add milk. Here we've got two, hmm, two tablespoons of milk and my vanilla extract, which we are using one teaspoon. All right, let's whisk these things together. All right, we're gonna pause and we're gonna add half of an over-ripened banana. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in fours and put it around the different parts of the bowl just so it's all spread out evenly. I'm also going to take ooh flavors, pound cake flavor, and I'm gonna add five drops. You know, why not? You, know, you wanna use your whisk to mash down the banana, which isn't gonna be hard if it's overripe enough overripe enough. I don't know if that makes sense, makes sense, but you know. Oh my god, this banana smells so good. Okay, next I'm gonna stir in chocolate chips and Carolyn's recipe calls for two tablespoons of chocolate chips, but I'm using minis, so we're gonna do three. Mmm, yeah, we'll do three. Now I'm going to switch over to my Swerve spatula, so that way I don't get anything caught in the whisk again. Alright, sprinkle the dots, not the sticks. I also have these for fun. Why is them in there too? 
You don't want to stir them too hard once you add the sprinkles, because then the color will start to like, you know, swirl all up in there. All right, so now it's telling me in the directions that I'm going to take my grease ramekins or cups, you know, because these are mug bakes, so you can use them in mugs. But I've greased them. I got three. And we're going to just put the batter in them evenly. Shake them to get them to set. I really hope you can't hear the screaming coming from that music video because it was scary. Okay. This is honestly like the perfect amount for three, which is perfect because there's three people who live here. Four if you count honey, which I do. So you can see, got the batter in there, nice. So I'm going to go ahead and microwave them for one to three minutes. It'll really depend on my microwave, so I will be right back. Well, while those are in the microwave, I guess I'll have a cocktail. So they're finished. My microwave called for three minutes, which is good to know. But look at these. They came out so good. I can't wait to eat these. We're hungry.